Good evening, everyone. I'm Keisha Adderley, and welcome to The Bahamas Tonight, the National Report. Topping the news tonight, Prime Minister the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis, honored by his alma mater in New York City last night. He was honored for his contributions in medicine, politics, and national development. Aldovis Munnings has the story. And this award would not have been possible for me to obtain had it not been for the Bahamas. It's been 34 years in the making. A very proud alumnus of the University of the West Indies, Prime Minister the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis, who was a member of the classes of 1980 and 1985, and a member and fellow of the Royal College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, received the American Foundation of the University of the West Indies Foundation's prestigious Legacy Award during its gala banquet at the Pierre Hotel in New York City Wednesday night. It was a very emotional and passionate moment for Prime Minister Minnis. It would have been the Bahamians and my mother. They are responsible for me obtaining and obtaining this position today because it was the Bahamian people and Bahamian government that afforded me the opportunity to attend school. And though my mother was a single mother and a seamstress, the few pennies that she made, she would have sent it to UWI to assist me. And my greatest regret standing here tonight accepting this award is not having her here with me. Prime Minister Menace acknowledged the financial needs of UE students from his own experience. But I'm delighted to accept this award tonight. I would use it as a catalyst to further project me that to work to God help the and bring CARICOM even closer together but help to give me extra energy to do one of the most important thing in my life, and that is to continue my fight against poverty. Mm. Coming from that background, it is essential for me to use all the energy and resources that we have, not only in the Bahamas, but in the CARICOM nation, to eradicate poverty so that each and every individual within the Caribbean territory would have the same benefits and have the same opportunities and can possibly attain the same level that I have attained. The Prime Minister shared the Legacy Award with another UE alumni, Premier of the Turks and Caicos Islands, the Honorable Charlene Cartwright Robinson. She too reminisced on her humble beginnings as a University of the West Indies student. And I want to say to those of you who are thinking as to whether you should support and provide financial support this evening, I walked into the halls of Mona, Secolite for life, with $150 and walked out thousands of prayers later, and several miracles later, a proud graduate. Six years ago, the longest serving political party in the Turks and Caicos decided to take a chance on a 41-year-old female. And today, I have already been the leader of the opposition and now serving my second um, half of my first term as premier. Reporting from the Pierre Hotel in New York City, I'm Altavis Munnings, ZNS Network News.